Okay. This is the first meeting of the Dudley Cultural Council for fiscal year 20, uh, cycle 46. So let's start with um, introductions. Marilyn? Um, Marilyn Kramer is member. Audrey Vesner. Yeah, what am I? <laughs> A member. <laughs> Joanne Brinker, treasurer. Yeah, go back home. Uh, Jimmy D. Donato, co chair. Denise Driscoll, co chair. <laughs> Mary Kunkel, secretary. Okay. Um, just as an aside, I have to leave by 11. So, 11. So, we can hopefully get this through, or you guys can just continue without me. Would be fine. What do we have on the agenda? Okay, so everybody should have an agenda. Um, secondly, I've redone the member listing. Um, please check and make sure there are no errors. And these other papers will go through after. Okay, so we've done the um, call to meeting to order. That was at 9.32. We did the introductions. Uh, third item is to welcome um, our new member. Unfortunately, she called me last night, Patricia Byron. Um, she uh, was appointed in June and unfortunately could not make um, the meeting today. She was ill um, last night. So, And the other thing I have to pass out to you because this has to do with our new member. Um, Patty told me that she is not <coughs> comfortable using computers. She does basic, but she's not, and she's willing to learn, but she's not, um, she doesn't feel that she's up to snuff with that. And I wanted her to kind of review information about the Cultural Council before she came to our first meeting kind of get a little bit of an introduction. And so I told her that I would print out some material for her. Well, when I went in and started to print, I'm thinking, oh my God, it's going to take a ream of paper. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I came in and Michelle graciously helped us with some of the printing. So I said, as I started looking through it, I said, gee, this is kind of interesting information that maybe some of us have not seen on the website. Mm -hmm. So I printed out a set for everybody. Oh, oh. So this is kind of like an introductory thing, but I'll tell you, I learned, I learned some things from it. So there's your set. There's your set. Thank you. Or pass them down. Yeah. Yeah. They're not. Holy mackerel. And there's your set. Oh, there's three different things? There's three different things. Oh. Okay, I have a question though. Uh, just a quick question. When you come here to have Michelle help you print out or yes. print out, yes. can you get on the website or do you print one and then bring that? I print the, uh, print the one and bring it. Okay. Or like today, I couldn't print these at home because my new printer doesn't print large paper. Right. So um, I brought it to her on a flash drive, a <coughs> drive. You know what that is, Jen. I know what it is. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how it works, but I know what it no, is. No, or you can email it to her. You can email it to her. For some she reason, would. my flash drive doesn't work. Yeah. I can't write. I can read from them. Yeah. Um, but you can email it to her. Set up. <clears throat> She's very accommodating. Um, thank you. So is there anything in particular in here, Denise, you want us to Yes, I, um, they're, they're, as soon as I find my copies. There were two things that I that I found quite interesting is in the this first one towards the end 
I always thought that the Mass Cultural Council, basically what we do here at our local level, which is approved grants, was kind of like the main focus of the Cultural Council Mass Cultural, and it's not. They have all of these other opportunities. Look towards the last three pages. Like Creative Minds Out Loud, Space they do, Finder, those yeah, they, yeah, Artist Space Resources, Creative Minds, Space Finder. Um, they have a uh, gallery at MCC. Um, I knew lines. about the big yellow school bus. Yes, yeah, that's, part yeah, that. that, that's part of it. That's part of it. Flip the prior page. Yep. Oh. The, um, artist apprenticeships, artist yeah. fellowships, mm -hmm. uh, big yellow school bus. That was the only other thing program that I really knew about. But um, and none of these you know we're not involved directly with them people that apply for these things apply directly to mm -hmm. the mass cultural State. council oh, we so we're not the ones that oh let's say the school no. when they okay, no, the they, big yellow school these bus. are all separate but these are all separate things but i think it's just important for us to know to right. give out that information yeah the schools in particular to um, yeah. to the community yeah so that they're aware of these types of things um, i don't know if it's through publicity or you know i but it's good for us to know about it anyway. Sure, so that absolutely. If we encounter somebody who might be interested. Might this one, this higher council is interesting. A free online listing of creative and employment opportunities in Massachusetts that include administrative production volunteer and intern opportunities. Yep. Right. So really, the Mass Culture Council does more than just give grants for you know the local local funding. So I thought that was interesting. Okay. Um, the other thing that I found interesting that I wasn't aware of. <coughs> is um, the way that they and it's in I'm sorry it's in the local guidelines yeah that one. Um, about two, three pages in two pages in MCC versus local funds and they differentiate between the mass funds which are the funds those include the funds that we receive every year plus interest earned on that whereas the local funds have different guidelines and stipulations, and those are funds that um, we can use through fundraising, mm -hmm. because we have the opportunity as a local sure. council to mm -hmm. have fundraising <coughs> events and to earn additional money that we can then spend in a little different way. We don't have to follow the same guidelines as the state. If we raise the funds. If we raise the funds. Oh, those are but that only money gets that raised Correct. Okay. That money gets separated. That's so the interest is is included in the MCC funds that we earn. Um, the interest that we earn. The interest should be included in the MCC. Okay. Um, I just not that it, it must be spent in upcoming grant cycle. Or we don't. Our interest is our admin, and we don't spend that. No. Yep. Okay. I so think it's a technicality. Is that not because? Be, but I, but I think reporting. it's it's supposed to be you spend it all, and then you put it back in. Okay. You know what I mean. So if you want to take okay. ten five percent of your ad of your yeah. allotment and put it in your admin funds, you can do that. But then you have to <coughs> spend last year's and put it in. So it's a matter of putting it and taking it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you're changing that number all the So time. you can't carry a balance five Correct. years, for example, and Correct. accumulate five hundred dollars. Right. right. Okay. So I think we're fine. Okay. It's just a matter of not taking it out and putting it back in. Okay. All right. Um, so that was interesting. The other thing down back here someplace I saw where um, we're required to keep our records public, which Michelle knows where they are, so if anybody wanted to look at them, she would know where to go find them. Did you move them? Well, well they're still in there. Okay. They're, they're, but we, they only have to be kept for six years. Oh, oh that I didn't know. No, that, that was something new here. That's good. They have to be available to the public for six years. Oh, what about previous? I thought we had it safe. All of them. Well, it, in one statement it says that you have to follow the state rules for document preservation. But then it says specifically that these are cultural council records have to be saved have to be available to the public for six years and we can discard the others I 
Who, who helped me with all those oh, old? Oh, God, they're every, they were everywhere. When they, yeah, maybe we, 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 went went we, we went through one. They were there. We went through all of them. Yeah, we went through years and years and years. So what we need to do, I think, is probably okay. get a, maybe Michelle can help us with understanding what the state yeah, rule is. Yeah, because if we can get rid of it, it'll right, give absolutely. them space. I'm sure they're going to be glad, yeah, too. So yeah. Yeah. Do, do we have... We have a draw. Recent yeah, we have the yes, air. most recent ones are in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're in here. And Would Michelle has the six key. years. There, they have to be available to the public for six. Well, we should keep them no. for six. Would yeah. there be six years worth there? Oh, I yeah, don't know. I'm sure there are. I'm and sure there are. Sure at and least some. Well, I didn't three know. Or four. I didn't know how. You know. How, how many get the years? Well, how, how when you consolidate and just don't take everybody's papers and just have one set, it probably yeah. amounts to okay. this much. Right. Gotcha. Right. So there's plenty of room. Because really, I mean, we give the town clerk a copy of the secretary's report, right? Yeah. And then um, our agenda gets posted, so that gets handed over. So I would assume in the treasurer's report, right? Do you? I've never put anything there, but I don't know if. if but like the treasurer would keep reports of our. I have, but I. No, know. not you specifically. I mean, our town treasurer. Oh, town. They must have to keep records. They keep records of the statement, yeah. which then, yeah. But I mean, we don't have to keep all those disbursement records and stuff, the, you know, the reimbursement forms and all of that. Yeah, because they would have that. that. No. Yeah, right, that's, that's what I mean. So I they would have the, that. The so plan. I think our responsibility is for our grant applications, our grant letters. Right, to be sure that those are yeah. the way they should act. Um, I would think that's all we personally have to keep here. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. That's great. You know. That's great. That's the way I would interpret it. Read the moss. I got to come out with it. And now the other thing, and I'm not sure in which packet I read it. They encourage um, this kind of is opportune because they encourage the cultural council to meet with local municipal, um, like our selectmen, and you know, to make people aware even within the town government that don't know what we do um, and to just kind of meet with them and let them know what we do which I don't think we've done recently at least but as I was in the attack with Michelle Jonathan Ruda, Ruda came in who was our new town administrator and I introduced myself and he said oh I'm to a council I said good opportunity I said would you like to know more about what we do <laughs> and he said yes so you volunteered so, to go to the next selected good no girl. <laughs> I volunteered to set up a meeting with Jonathan with any of us that would like to join so we can work on that going forward and just kind of give him an overview and I really think give him one of these <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, because there's, yes. there's good information get lead him to the website and answer any questions he might have so what do you think? Okay. That good approach to that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so sure. that kind of. Yeah. Especially because he's brandy new. Yes, absolutely. And he's I'd very like interested. I'd like to get the Webster Times editor in. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. 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 What was that all about? He's supposed to call me. He has to call me. been waiting two days. Okay. So that's uh, the end. That all is part of the new member. Because like I said, this all came about because um, I wanted to give Patty a little bit of a heads up in terms Excellent. of what we do. Okay, so we have our... Um, just, uh, excuse me, Denise, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <coughs> well, I'm just looking at this and, uh, and it says, you know, local grants and reimbursement types of grants, et cetera, and this popped out at me right away. They, I got, we've got to remember, I have to remember, applications must reside or be located in Massachusetts. And I think we pay attention, but I might lose sight of that when you get... In yeah, the, you're right. Uh, you forget. Applicants have to reside or be located in Mass. So I guess I don't know what located means. I guess you business. have an uh, yeah business office. Yeah, that's. Um, and I'm wondering why that wouldn't get screened out at the at the state level when the. Oh yeah, that's true. You know when the it's, applicants. Yeah. I don't know. What they do with the driver's license. I mean, we can always question it if we if we have one like that. Yeah. Okay. Know, we're not sure about. <coughs> Okay. Okay. Um, do you have the meeting minutes from okay. June 6th? I do. Okay. Has that everybody seen the minutes that Joan sent out, the, her last set of minutes? I, yes, and I saw the change to that. Okay. I, I did. Anybody have any? Um, no. 
questions? Do we need to read Did them? I, yeah. No, I think it's fine. I don't remember if we got the one where the co-chair business was straight. Yes, down. and she, she corrected okay. it. Okay. Yeah, she sent out a corrective. So then that's good. So I, I make a motion yeah. we accept the minutes from the last meeting in June, whatever day that was. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Minutes accepted. Okay. The treasurer's report. Okay. The report you have is for year end. I did not receive a financial statement from the town accountant for uh, in August. So this is um, as of the end of the fiscal year. And there we have in the admin fund 150. 691 and um, at this point in time we have a carryover to 2020 of ten dollars and there is a remaining balance of to pay out of three thousand five twenty five and that ten dollars was because we their expenses were ten dollars less than, than what, what they applied for. they had applied for right their bill came in so okay yeah Good. The, on the on the um, spreadsheet of the grant tracking spreadsheet, yep. the last ones um, starting at Boys and Girls Club. That one, the event took place, but I haven't received any documents, reimbursement forms for them from them. And the last um, um, four have not taken place yet. Okay. Looks good. Okay, now um, I know Joanne, you wanted to talk about about needing to add to the admin fund, or should we? That's um, on the annual report that um, we complete and submit to the state mass cultural council. We insert the dollar amount that we are going to be carrying over in 2020 for the admin fund. And we do have the opportunity with the 2020 award to withhold 5% of that, up to 5% for the admin fund. So if we want to increase our admin fund, uh, at this point in time is when we need to make that decision. Right. Um, okay, so we currently have $156.91 in admin fund. Mm -hmm. Correct. Question. Say yes. that again, 150 what? 15691. Okay. Did did I just read in one of these handouts that the admin fund can be up to ten percent? Um, I believe it's five. Five. Their form says hearing. five percent. Oh, okay. It's five. I thought I we well, can I, the uh, form that I can says five percent. We, 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 we didn't get a we didn't get a grant amount, did we? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, um, I seven, guess actually, I missed it's, the email. it's very nice. Yeah, Seven eight hundred. Nice. How much? much? Seventy-eight hundred. Wow. We got seventy-eight. Yes. Why did I think it was fifty-nine? How come? Yeah. We, I don't. Did you send an email? Because I, I uh, no, made a I just got it yesterday. Oh, Lisa okay. Simmons sent it. Okay. And then, but actually, I don't. I read her. It was a very long email, and yeah. I haven't really finished reading it. But I don't think she put the amount because that's what I was looking for. No. And but you have to go into the annual report online. You have to log in. And you go into annual report, and she's listed it in the annual report. And, and there's also another place that the, the first the first um, selection council information it's okay. under there also. Oh, it's on there also. Yeah. Okay, I didn't look there. Yeah, no, it's so it's okay. A but it is seventy eight hundred for next year, Great. plus our ten dollar carryover. Yeah, and ten dollars. And <laughs> yeah, At when we get to the next agenda oh, item, well, we might have something yeah, else too. We might have more. <laughs> So well, why does the admin fund say 156? Because that's what we currently have that's right now in the admin fund. From okay. previous plus, years. Oh, that, plus that, $10? Yeah. No, 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 that's well, not in the admin fund no. at this point. No, that's no. not oh, in the admin. Oh, it's just, uh, just it's a just over. It's just for the... It's segregation of funds here. Yeah. That's just for the next grant cycle? Uh -huh. right. okay. Yeah. So based on what we've been spending administratively, my suggestion is that we don't add anything more the only thing I will uh, remembering that Mary suggested we buy another sign oh okay. oh, oh so that when we yeah. when we want to pass it around 
another new, flag, oh, another, another you know, another a banner, a banner. Yeah, another oh, another banner. banner. Yeah. Because okay. it, that new place on, on South Main was reasonably priced, mm -hmm. and maybe we wouldn't. I mean, it's never crossed over. Have. We've had two things. No. How do you think? What do you think? You think we could use another one? This one's getting a little shop worn. They're, re when they're I reasonable. They're, they're not. Is that place still there, though? I don't know if it's still there. Really? I, I'm not sure. If, and we can find out. Do you no, think we would it had it. come in handy if we had another one? Well, if we ever had two things going on at the same time. Plus, this one is getting sharp mm -hmm. worn. It's, it's yeah. torn on top so of the pad, so it, it kind of looks. It's maybe not the, the time to do it. It looks tacky. It looks okay. tacky. Okay. okay. All right. So, depending upon the cost, you want to consider two and retire the tacky one. <laughs> because it was it's like tacky bucks, if you're I think, for that presenting one. a sign that is right. ripped in. Yeah. That advertisement. I don't like that at all. Yeah. I, I know when I noticed when I dropped it off. Yeah. I picked it up. Yeah. Whatever. And I mean, you could always keep the old one as a backup if mm. and Just when you case. had it. Yeah. I think we yeah. should think about doing that. We can take a vote on it now. Yeah. But first, we're going to yeah. find out where we're going to buy it. If that. But do we want to? Well, we want to first of all get it. a price on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Price. price. Well, I don't expect it would be over a hundred dollars, right? Well, the old I mean, one was. Is anybody? I think it was just a hundred. How long ago? Mm. Or do we want to add I some remember, I, old God, I don't remember. Well, it was we in this don't, century. We, yeah. <laughs> we can use the current banner, <laughs> and we don't need a new banner maybe until next year or even toward the when we start granting, you know. The so thing is, is let's if look we're into we can have look. the price ready for our meeting yeah. you know, in okay. October. Exactly. But what Joanne said is that we have to we have to make a decision today if we're going to move admin funds. That report has to be done by October 15th. Okay. So yeah, you have to decide. One. If you take out 150 and leave us right. at $6. Um, we, we, have to, we have to know what we're taking out of the, ad, out of the right. allotment prior Transfer to October to 15th. Admin. So okay. if we want to add to the admin funds, we need to make that decision before October 15th. So we need to do it now. Because we can't specifically set aside a dollar amount to say no. this is just for the banner, or does it have to go? No. It has to go in the end. No, it, it goes in the okay. end. Okay. Yeah, no fun. Well, right. can we do that? Well, we can't do that by email. Everything has to be official. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Voting yeah. has to be the first. Okay. Well, why don't we put why say, don't we 150? Do add 150. And well, then we get five percent. Is it five percent of seventy? We can take up to five percent. Up to five percent of seventy eight hundred. So correct. what's five percent of seventy eight hundred? Three ninety. Yeah. Wow. So well, well, we might ten percent is seven eighty. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. three three percent three. Yeah. So we, we might could just. Go ahead. Could, no, go ahead. I was just going to say we might want to consider that only because the problem with the Webster Times. All right, they're charging us to run on notice. Oh, oh, are they? Interesting. Yeah, when Do I said no, when, when I, well, believe me, I was on the phone with this new Patricia person. I sent in, what I did was I sent in the, the one that Joan had done, you know, mm -hmm. about cultural now available, and it was pretty, it explained a little bit about the cultural council, yeah. so I just changed the dates and I sent in that one. That was going to cost us $72 a week. They would run it once free and then $72 a week. How many the, weeks do we buy? Well, it? it would be probably four weeks until October 15th. You know, the wow. month is this month. So then, and I, right away, I said, this is cycle 46. We've never been charged, you know, to run this, yada, yada, yada. So I shortened it, okay? So I shortened it, sent it back. It was now going to cost like 43. I was trying to find the emails this morning on my iPad, and I couldn't. It was going to be $43 and something a week. Jeez. Um, run once free, but then we'd have to pay for the, for the rest three. of the weeks. Um, then she got back to me again, and she said, so, she, said you, she has to discuss everything with Brendan, the editor, okay, because she just does the paid advertising, mm -hmm. but that she was mm -hmm. the only person I could figure out to contact there. And then the last email text I got from her was that he was going to call me, and he, he hasn't. This is two days ago, all right? So I called, I got hold of the Yankee shopper, which comes out every week. Talk to Michelle. Good. She Everybody was very nice, it. and she said, "Send, send the stuff." So I sent her the Jada version, and I said, "If you could try to run it, 
weekly, if not at least once, and then maybe put it in, you know, the calendar of events mm -hmm. thing that they mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's going to happen with the okay. newspapers. The Michelle has it. It's already out here. And the library is going to post it. As they were struck by lightning. Is it on the Dudley Town website? I, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that. I keep forgetting. Because that it would is. work. It yeah. Is. It is on there? Yeah. The, nope. For this year? On our website. Our, the town the, website. The town website. I'm the, sorry. The, the, the access channel yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. No, I have, I've got to do that. But they, they don't start till September 1st And anyways. what about the, the regular town website that comes up with the farm scene on it? That one. Is there a place oh, there like for when announcements? You, when you log into Yeah, town, like when you got to pay a bill. Town of Dudley. I've notes. never seen that one. How do you get into that one? Um, town of Dudley. Town, oh, town of Dudley. Town of Dudley. All right, I'll check that. And I know the access. I think there's a place on there to put stuff. Well, I was going to put it on the access area. Well, that works great. That's too. the thing yeah. that scrolls, right? Right. The thing that scrolls yeah. up. Yeah. And was it the, what's the other one called? Just it's Dudley. Dudley. It's DudleyMath.gov. Right. Yeah. Dudley Mav being one. All right, right, I'll have to, I'll have to, okay. And then up, up it comes. Because I, I just type in time. I pay every and it bill. Goes up. Oh, okay. Okay. that's on yeah. late So, bills, Mary, right. just getting back to that, too, as I'm reading through Should over here, we're talking about administrative yeah, funds. The person who they say LCCs it. may spend up to 5% of the state oh, allocation each funding cycle for administrative I mean, expenses. For example, staff, postage, stationery, and publicity. So, maybe in some cases, yeah. They, some of the councils do pay for publicity. All right. you, you okay. The other thing I was going to do and I haven't done is contact like Charlton oh, and Webster and see, and see, what, they see what they do. If theirs goes in. Okay. Webster's had a lot of announcements lately. Well, you know, the, sec the second the one, I talked to oh. Denise first, but the, the second one I sent back was I said, I said, so you're telling me that Little League tryouts, um, the Dudley Women's Club notices, uh, bowling, bowling league standings, yeah. all these okay. people have to pay. I, of course, I didn't get a response back, but I put that in my email back that to them. I said, this is a a public, I said, this is a public service announcement. I said, we have no treasury. I said, every cent we get from the state goes, to, you know, I'm trying to explain that yes. we don't have money to pay $72 a week. So, anyway. So once we put it in, we have to spend it? No. So once we put we it in and we don't need it, over, it right? yeah. we can still keep it there? Yeah, we've carried yes. it over. Well, yeah. let's put the 5% then. If we have to pay for advertising. And then if we don't, I mean, you know. It, it, then we will. Well, it oh, oh, oh. it'll pay for the banners Tama, anyway. Do we really want to pay for advertising? I was going to say. I don't think we should I have to. Well, I don't think we should. I don't think if we can get one free one and we end up having to pay $72, I mean, do we need to put it in every week if we have it in other places? Probably not. Well, probably, yeah, yeah. You know, I, it's probably you know, not. Like, uh, as I t so told somebody, most people that apply for grants know when the grant right. cycle starts and they know to look up online the website, or they, whatever. Yeah. Because Joan had mentioned, because I got back to her, I said, Joan, did, did anybody ever tell you that you had to pay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a new editor at the Times or what. I don't know. And she's talking about their budget. We're on a strict budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so well. we have no money, yeah. no budget. Uh, <laughs> I was a real, really ruined two days for me because now we're I'm thinking we're not going to we're not gonna get any grant applications. It's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think we have enough publicity. Yeah. Well, she wanted it to go out to all the other village papers, and I said, well. I said, but we're trying to look for local. We're trying to get local people to apply, you know, and then she agreed with that. So anyway, this is where we stand now. Is as far as I know, we're gonna get the one long one in the in the Times, which will probably come out this week. Okay. This That's coming good. week. Maybe we shouldn't worry about it. And the two marquees yeah. have it, and I'll get it on TV. Mary. And uh, you've got the smart shopper, you said. No. The smart shopper, yeah. I think, will run yeah. it somewhere. How are they gonna yeah. do it? I gave them a couple of options, yeah. so. Regarding the website, if you give me the information that you want posted on the website, oh. I'll get in touch with John Breyer. He's a magician. Oh, okay, good. You know, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Does it make any difference how long it is? I don't think so. No. Do I you? I, I'm not going to say. I don't know. What do you think? Um, well, it, well, Joan had a lot of information. I don't know. Did I put it in here? You know what might be helpful if they put on the website? Yeah, this is Joan's. To our website, a blurb. Oh, and then oh you really? Well, website. she explains. She does a lot of explanation. Mm -hmm. What I just took, like the top. No, because it's you know, on the top. Yeah, she might take our website. Oh, oh, carry that. Yeah, because this was the first oh, yeah. one I had sent. Yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, she pulled that up again. I can see it from here. 
it's a half a page. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I did like I said a butt shot at first. Well, then I the second time I got back to back to the Times, it was like one sentence. I said the Dudley Cultural Council is now accepting grant applications Perfect. until October fifteenth. Uh, contact you know yada yada yada. Then she said it was too short. <laughs> she said, "If it's so short, people won't know." Won't know. Oh, Put it in yeah. bold print. Oh. Mary, anyway, why don't I see you after the okay. meeting? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we don't want to spend too much time uh, on this, um, but anyway, we need to Denise, put some yeah, money. So in just to, to yeah, yeah just to get back. Yeah, she's <laughs> Janita's going to have to take over. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, um, so what we need to do is make a decision um, as to whether we're we going to add to the admin funds or not. We can do the full five percent. We can do a portion of it. We can do a set amount. I make a motion do. that we put the whole, the entire five percent in our it. administration funds. I think everybody in favor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we may we that. may never get seventy nine hundred dollars again or seventy eight hundred dollars again. It's so. okay. It, it can sit there. We use I mean, we use I mean, any discussion. Stamps go. Oh, we don't any use stamps. Anymore. We don't use any stamps anymore. No, that's the thing. I mean, we use yeah. less. But we used to use it in stamps. But we've been talking about having one of our own fundraiser things. Um, yeah, we, so if we ever do, yeah, we'll make money for it. Okay, everybody in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. So, do we have to <laughs> accept the treasurer's report, or? Um, so we're. Um, one, one other thing to talk about there. Um, okay, so we will take, now you handled that with the town treasurer in terms of the amount that gets transferred to admin funds? Uh, yeah, I give, yeah. Yeah, it's, okay. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, she's so good. I don't, you don't <laughs> have to tell, tell, tell me. <laughs> I know. I just get an inkling. And yeah. Know. Let me tell when, you. When, when we do the annual report, yes, that admin figure, yes, I give it to her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and I she have, handles and it. And we yeah. have the reports document how we came up with that. Figure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Um, okay. And the other thing that we have the opportunity to take out of the allocation is if we, as a council, want to. <clears throat> do a program or an event, we can take up to 15%. Um, oh. oh, we had kind of briefly talked about that in the past. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, it's not like we have a big group of volunteers to personally. I How would say. that work? Would we just that <laughs> would we apply for that? <laughs> no, we don't have to apply for it. Um, just I, well, we have, one of these we has more money. Now. Yeah, let's just let. Well, it again, be. right? But again, this it's is something a decision that has to be made before the annual report gets oh, filed okay. um, on the fifteenth, right? Before that, the financial report. If we're going to take fifteen percent to oh, allocate, oh, additional. Oh, I, if we're, if I we're apologize do a on that because some of this is by the the annual report, January fifteenth filing date. The, the what? January 15th oh, okay. or January But there's certain pieces fine. that are due yeah, by so October 15th. On that there's one. section one, section two. Yeah, and then there's three, four, five, oh, nine. Thank God for two weeks. So I apologize, I can't yep. answer no, that. No, um, but I, I'm just throwing this out there. So I mean, if, if we had like somebody that we wanted to put a performance on for the town, mm -hmm. you know, some kind of a cultural event that we wanted to fund through our council, we can do that with 15% of the allocation. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I, I'd have to read a little bit. I, yeah. I don't think it has to be done right now. I don't think, I want to say that I think it's through the, the final report that the, we, the grant cycle. If we don't have to apply for a grant for it, then it I seems like we could do it I, anytime. I, I want to say it's not. Uh, it's in here. Doing It's called a council program. An LCC may spend up to 15% of its state allocation to support programs initiated by the local council itself. 
project should respond to cultural needs that are not otherwise being addressed in the community. Uh, use your community input process to ask for specific suggestions. A final report is due on January 15th of the following grant year. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah it's that. just again informational. Is this no? I don't think no. It's, it's, it's the last couple of years yeah, I've seen it. it. Oh really? Yeah. I wonder if you could, um, and I don't know, if you could like support a program that's already town. I'm thinking about the big deal that the Webster puts on at the at the beach once a year, and it's like oh. a fun family fun day. Mm -hmm. I suppose it could be. And I'm wondering if you know there's something yeah. that comes. There's up that, more detailed information about that on the website. That you know, we could look into. That's my thought. Anyway, I don't but it, I again, don't we have to know if we're going to take 15 percent. No. It has to be done through the grant cycle by October 15th. I mean, by the time we vote. By the time. Oh, by the time we. So that we give us more time to do research and figure out what we're doing. Right. Did the same thing with my Right. Okay. Right. It would have to be a decision that's made during our voting meetings. Okay. Okay. When we look at our like our grant applications. So that could be an agenda item. That could be an agenda item. Was there anything else, um, um, Joanne? Uh, I did have, and now it just went through my head. Um, it, it went out. Um, Can we come back to it? I'm sorry. It'll come I back thought of something before. when you were talking, and now I forgot it. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll get we'll get back to it. Okay, so the next item, review request from Becky Boussier for change of project. Okay, um, if you remember last year we approved, um, I don't remember the exact dollar amount, but seven hundred. How much? Seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars for all, a program from Chapel Hill all yep. shook up. Um, we thought it was going to be done in May. Um, it was not held. Um, Joanne has had conversations. Um, there was an email that came back from Becky Boussier, who said um, that that she anticipated using it, she would like to use it for their holiday spectacular. She asked if she could do Which that. Which we assumed, she asked if she could do that. We assumed it was going to be like December of this year, holiday, okay? Which Not would that be. Holiday. So now she's talking about. So Joanne kind of looked through all of the information and said it looks like she needs to formally request a change. So she sent an email back to you, right? Or I, I sent an email to her yeah. to submit a written request. Right. And when she submitted a written request, instead of the holiday in December, she requested um, for next May or April, May or April, this whatever, to do another, to try and do another um, oh. musical. Oh, so which I understand was fantastic, but anyway. So, so now she was requesting to use the funds in the next cycle. Oh, right. no. Right. Instead of what? But so, I, I maybe misread her email, assuming she was looking at doing that. Right. Of the ex Christmas extravaganza. So then um, she, um, jo Joanne, you know, sent me the information and everything, and I said, I started reading more thoroughly into these exceptions and extensions and you know and it was quite confusing actually in the yeah. website because yeah. it sounded like they had to request an extension if the program wasn't completed by the time they had to ask for their reimbursement they have one year from the date of their approval letter right. to get for request reimbursement so to get reimbursement it needs to be completed okay. but the approval letter was dated January 3rd 
So that would mean she had until January 3rd of 2020 to submit her receipts and request a reimbursement. Um, but if she needed more time, see, I think that extension is to extend the request for the reimbursement, not to complete the program. Okay, and that's, that, see, that's, inter that's interpretation. an interpretation. Yeah. So I reached out to um, Sam yesterday, and because I said, you know what, this is very confusing. Um, and after I read that, Are you, are you saying that she wasn't requesting the event to be held next year? She is. No, okay. She is now. She is. Yeah. She oh, is now. Oh, now she is. But All that's right. not what we initially thought. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I think we would have responded differently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because back then, back, I reread everything, and it kind of sounded like the event had to be held within the grant cycle year, mm -hmm. which ends in December of 2019. I confirmed that with Sam, our contact at Mass Cultural Council, Sam, and Sam said yes. Oh. That if the event is not held within the 2019 year, because our our priorities say that it has to be from January to December. Mm -hmm. However, the state would allow you to do six months prior. Because what I also read and learned is that they will you can apply for a grant for an event that was already held like in october really? yes um that if the event was held six months prior so like july or something it, there was a date are you seeing something that was held in 2018 no it has well yes for this cycle correct Somebody said, oh, I did an event in October. No, I'm sorry. No. No. If, um, we're, if we're thinking about next year's cycle, okay, January to December of 2020. Okay. So we're going to prove in October. All right. If in October we got a request <coughs> for something that was held in September of this of year. This, well, yeah. same thing. My application right. was Six just right. looking at yeah. this cycle. So yeah. at September of this year, we could approve that. After oh. the fact. However... Our local guideline says that it must be held from January to December. Okay. Oh, so we have to change our guidelines. So we, why not? We would oh, we would have to not. if we wanted we to, to approve it. But oh, no, it wouldn't work for yeah. this. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't work yeah. for this. Right. So the, the what we from what I understand and from what Sam confirmed has to happen here is if she's not going to use her seven hundred dollars for a similar program, which I would assume at the high school would be some kind of a musical or, you know, the Christmas. same type of program. Yeah. She has to forfeit the money if it's not going to be held and reapply for next year, mm -hmm. for that May 2020. That's that a new grant. That seems yeah. very, that makes more that's, sense. That's very, yeah. 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 That's how it should yeah. be. Yeah, so I think at this point what needs to happen is we need to send her a letter in response to the request, explain that to her and have her reapply right. if she's not going to use it. But we have to know by October 15th, or by the time that we do our grant reviews, if she's going to use it this year or not, because that money will then go back into, into the allocations for next year. That'll be an extra $700. Seven hundred. And if she doesn't do it, and, we, and it's not in our 2020 grant money, I mean, if, if let's say, right. then then what's going to happen? We have all that, yeah. Because it's it's not granted in yeah. 2020. I think I think the letter just has to be very definitive, and that if the program is that the program must be scheduled and held. Okay, that must okay. before and, December 30th. And that we need to know by October 15th. <coughs> yeah. And so if she was if she was going to go back to her first site or your whatever you've got the holiday pressure, if she did the holiday she'd be all set. she'd be okay she'd go, be okay yes because that give her time to submit the um, reimbursement form as well right yeah right but so then she needs to understand that she has to back up that reimbursement form with expenses right so that's and but I'm not well, sure well, what what reimbursement form. To, for her to get her seven hundred dollars, you have to you yeah, have to right. document. Oh, oh, right, right, yeah. right. She's not going to just get it if she has no, no. date. So she understands right, that. Right, right, right. The whole reimbursement process. The, yeah, but isn't is this somebody who's we've 
done help not before? her person no, not no, her okay. personally this is her first time yeah and that's okay. okay all right yeah just right. let me say the first time this this came up I spoke to a gentleman I forget who it was and mm -hmm. I was told it was because something was going to be under construction which was why they couldn't do the all shook up when they were supposed to okay. and it was going to be held in the fall I, and I it was a right. gentleman though so right. I don't know if they just changed She's uh, once the school year started maybe. with her maybe it was him I think I did read they were going to redo the auditorium at Shepherd Hill yeah mm -hmm. there was something about construction yeah I and, think I did so they were going to but they weren't going to hold it in the fall yeah, well, now, we're now this is the first yeah, time I'm cool. hearing that they, you know, they're changing it but to But her musical. Christmas productions are always so big. I'm surprised that she's yeah. got the funding for it, that she doesn't need the 700. She must have additional funding for something. I, I don't know. I think the way that I'd like to approach this is I'd like to draft a letter, mm -hmm. but I'd also like to call her and speak with her personally yeah. to be sure that she understands it. But then What's we, her name? Becky Boussier. Oh, you did? Yeah. Becky, That's not Becky. that same Boussier from the, the senior, senior center. center. The senior no, center. No, no, no. This is the teacher. All right. So I can do it. Somebody else can do it. What, however, or I think it should be either you or Joanne. You seem yeah. to both yeah, of you are yeah, yeah. well versed on. And if it's me, I'd want you there. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, I, no, I, I don't And if I draft a letter, I'm going to have you look at it. Before yeah. I send and it. And I'd be happy, you know, both of us talk with her. I don't yeah. know, but I, I don't feel comfortable. Yes, yeah, no, me. no, no. Okay. Okay, so everybody in agreement that that's how we'll proceed with this? So we no, still we just keep, keep it right. simple. It, yes. Right. You yeah. must hold it this year. Right. Or at the end of the year, the money goes line, back into the allotment. They don't next. have to know that. No. Anything well, about no. the money. She you must up hold the, it yeah. this year. She, right, because yeah. it's not like they got And you must. Reapply in the next year right. by October 15th. Right. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah, that keep simple. Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep right. it very keep it simple. simple. Yes. Right. Yes. And that we need to set the date that we need to know for sure. We need to know by October 15th what her plan is. For mm -hmm. this year. For, for this, this year. year. Right. And oh, it's just going to be held and not held. And she will have to, upon requesting reimbursement give yeah. the detail just as a reminder yeah you'll, ha yeah, yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll have to, to yeah. probably include that. right it's good Jenny. good concise yeah. complete yeah don't yeah. fill in too much don't say too much yeah, yeah. yeah. no i know too then much. it gets too yeah all she has to do is watch this okay replay. so <laughs> joanne and i will handle that you guys all in agreement I, yes 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 yes, okay. yes i vote yes Is that all under Treasurer's report? No, that's <laughs> under the next six. item. <laughs> all shook up. Review request. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got so it. That's how we we'll proceed okay. with that. Okay. Uh, the next thing we have to do is uh, review our priorities, and I passed out a copy of what our current priorities are. They're just in this kind of plenty of paper. I just cut, took it off the website. Last year we had added. Um, about the uh, venue and the letter to support the venue and I think that that's good that yeah. worked so let's look In through these print. and see if we need to change anything the next one down applies to what we just talked about yep. so we just need to change the dates yes uh, there are no dates uh, actually well, there's a 219 because yeah. I, re yeah. I read it over it says the 15th otherwise unless it falls on a Sunday but there's no actual um, and I thought I had put what a date. She looking at? What are you looking at? This is my copy. Oh, no, no, we're, we're not looking at the priorities. The priorities. Oh, just the pri Well, I have them right here. No. Oh, they were. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Are these our priorities or yes. the state? Yeah. Yes. That's right. I forgot that they were in the brochure, too. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, yes, we have to change under. Just the site. Just what the calendar year. Yeah. Uh, 2019 20, 20, 20, yeah. to 2020. Right. 2020 and then okay, it's again um, who does this um John? you and i will do this I'll, <laughs> isn't uh, this on the website it is i'll do it yeah. no it's on the mass yeah it's on the mass cultural website oh and i don't know if it's also on are those priorities on the local we, no, we, there's, a, there's a link on our local to go to the mass website. Oh, that's what you referred to before? Yes. Oh, I, I thought you were referring to ours. Well, so, the link. 
Is it to the local, the link to local or to I mass? think it, uh, where did if you see 2019 the, because for it just window, says um, under the third big letter window. commitment. Yeah. Okay, right underneath it says for FY19 grants. So we have to change that to okay. 20. Later. The program must take place within the 2020 calendar year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we have to change that for 2019. But I don't have that on, on the ones no, we printed No, because you up. probably, these are the ones just right here. I know, but this, these are the ones we printed up last year. Right, And it doesn't sure. give a date, it just says program Correct. must take and place we, within the calendar year, January we, to right, December. Right, but you probably decided to take the date out so that it would not be specific to have to change it. It wouldn't year. date the calendar, the yeah. information booklet. Okay. You could use That's it what I think. Is right. Otherwise you've got it to was, The them. dates were taken out. Right, but it's already on, you know, at least in my website, on my computer, it's already off what I'm saying. Oh. This is what I have. But like, on the <laughs> mass website. Oh, you're talking about the mass website. We're talking about the mass website. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Under, I'm under sorry. the LCC. Okay. Okay. All right. This is the website. And okay. you and I will go in and make okay. this change. Okay. Okay. Um, you can do it. Okay. Too. So then we give priority <laughs> programs that so will benefit many residents rather than a few. Priority artists, performers, and presenters from our community who meet the state and local guidelines choose to partially fund many products rather than fully fund a few. We may choose to limit the number of applications that may be funded by one individual group, depending on the amount of our allocation for each cycle. And that helped us when we had somebody that was applying to, for two or three grants. Mm -hmm. um, then according to community input, we'll give priority programs the following order of preference, uh, geared to families, geared to senior citizens, and presented as concerts, lectures, or artistic cultural events. I don't think that changed from our last community input. This looks good. Uh, the only thing I would ask you is when you were sending out the denial letters, yep. did anything come up that you would, that no, you couldn't I fit into this? Right, but that, that's a good thought. Yeah. But um, there wasn't. Good. I was able to fit either one of the state ones or one of these yeah. into it. Okay. Well, I, I think we should go yeah, ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. No, because I'm going to vote that we just leave it as it is. That's good. No, I'm it's something else. Go ahead. I make okay. a motion that we leave our priorities as listed. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. I remember what I forgot. I'm the sorry. community input survey. Oh. Are we set on that? Yes. Okay. And the date for the reports would be that our last community survey it is January of 2019. I believe I put it in. Oh, you the, did put it in. I that. think I put it in. Oh, okay, sorry. That's okay. No, um, I'll double check that and I'll go over that with you too. And there was rumor about, or I thought I read someplace that we were going to have to do it every year yeah. instead of every three it years. I hope you read wrong. I did. Good. Um, it well, only Lisa Simmons' letter has it in there. Really? I Because I, I, I just I'll read it. I'll go back and look. I just, I just read that. I'm because I, I read that if you're um, if you receive more than twenty thousand dollars in allocations oh. you have to do it every year. Oh. So what did you think Lisa said? Oh well we don't. Sure. I'll have to go back and look because okay. it wasn't a dollar amount involved in what I read. Oh. So. Well, we're done for 2019. Anyway, we're set. Whether it's three years or next year. Yeah. Well, so we're down to item A. Do we, do we, the brochure we're talking about, is that what Mary has said? Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mary wanted to know, um, do we need to update the brochure? She has quite a few left. There's a lot left. There's and I picked up. There were leftovers at the town hall and the library. Okay. So, is there anything in there that you? Use well, the only thing, uh, the only, there's only was only two things. I just put how to get online was mass.culture.org, and I guess Joan had the slash Dudley, but I think you can get into it either way. Either way. All right. Okay. So I don't know if we wanted to reprint. To just put for the, that. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one was we had uh, the some of the samples of what we funded were. Uh, you know, last year's, uh, I don't know if we wanted to update that, which would mean another printing, yeah. which we could do. I would just suggest that maybe we print out 50 right, <laughs> for the library in the town now hall. How many do you have left? 
Oh my God, I don't know. But it's those were just examples, weren't they? Right. They weren't they, saying this is what we no, did. No, right. No, they yeah, were examples. So that's yeah. I, I, my thought is to just let it be, let it be for at least right. another year. All right. I'll use up what we have. I'll just take some more yeah. out of the box and yeah. I'll bring them to the town hall and the library. Use up what we have. Yeah. I and thought I thought we I had put a date on here, and at, at, oh, okay. and at the time I says, "Well, I'll just get a sticker and change it to 2020 and cover it." But it turns out I didn't. So good, good, good. Okay. Good. good. So this doesn't have to be changed. I don't think uh, so. It sounds good. Anybody to else have any thoughts on that? Sounds good. Everybody okay with just going with the, what we have? Because it hadn't been updated for a number of years anyway. Yeah. You know, prior, prior to the work to that, that you yeah. guys did yeah. on it last year. All right. Well, I just have to remember to take some. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next thing, and I did not print this out for everybody, but uh, next item is the reimbursement to grant program. And I think you saw in some of the emails, um, Sam had reached out and they had a pilot program um, whereby instead of it being a reimbursement program, it would be you get the money up front. Oh yes. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. We voted on that. Oh, we, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So we, we did for this year yeah. we said we did not want to do that. And I think the from what I recall from the email, Sam had um, indicated that for this year anyway it was a choice. Um we could choose to or to not to. What's on the website I don't think has been updated yet because they still list it as a um, pilot program, and and maybe they are continuing for another year. But what they have, and if you go under, you can find it under um, reimbursement, and then it talks about, it's called, um, uh, the grant, rather than reimbursement, it's called grant, um, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Uh, are you are you saying that we in the future we may not get a choice? Correct. So that I is think the most ridiculous. I agree. Okay. Ruling. I so I think what we need to do to prepare for that eventuality, or to even understand if that's something that would work for us, is to maybe contact a couple of these um, cultural oh, councils, councils that have been in the pilot program. Um, there's nobody really local. Arlington, Belmont, Boston, Chicopee, Dennis, Duxbury, Fairhaven, no. Lancaster, Lynn. But it doesn't mean that we can't contact no. some of these people and at least get. But a lot of those are bigger councils. Yes, too. and that's what I noticed as well, or appear to be. Oh, Winchester. I don't know that Winchester's that big. <coughs> well, some of them. Anyway, um, so. Okay, so it says here in the FY19 grant cycle, the Mass Cultural Council, which is this past year, Mass Cultural Council is extending the pilot program to explore the feasibility of eliminating the requirement that grants uh, be funded on a reimbursement based. Now, one thing that I did read is that if we had chosen to go this year as part of the pilot or to do it, it's everything and nothing. You can't say. Oh, for these three, oh, I'll give oh, that grantee oh, a choice. Oh, all, all of them, everybody all of them or none of them. I don't, they just can't figure out how they're going to police this. So they right. Well, so that means that say, say Shepherd Hill. Okay, t let's take the Shepherd Hill thing. Yeah. So we don't fund. They don't, they don't have the program. So now, if they had already gotten the seven hundred dollars, that's right. We have to wait for them to give us seven hundred dollars back, I which sounds, or chase them. Or to chase give them. them. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Is you the don't know how soon. Sounds I crazy. just right. don't get that. Sense. Well, when she first sent us that, I had asked her several questions, Sam, and she responded. Oh, Sam's a guy. No, I'm Sam's a girl. girl. Yes, a girl. She <laughs> yes, yes, she is. I'm sorry. Yes. I just thought yeah, no, I assume too, uh, until I talked to her. <laughs> okay. I, I, nothing wrong with it. I, I know Sam's that female. So, yeah. so in answer to my questions, I had five questions. My first one was, what happens if the funds are distributed and programs not held? She said, <clears throat> you can request the return of the money from the grantee. If they are unable to return it, then you may ban them from applying for a period of time. They also must sign the contract and present a W-9 form to receive the funds. So that adds an extra step to getting the money. Um, 
I asked, will this create more record keeping and paperwork for our council treasurer and our municipal treasurer's office? Um, she said, it's meant to make record keeping easier for everyone. The grantee will have to <laughs> submit a final report with their receipts and info on how their project went. Ideally, this will save people time in having to track people down to get their receipts and paperwork on the back end. I can also, oh, I already see this in the telegram no. about yeah. the people who got this money and never spent it. I These mean, people have too much it, time it, on their it, hands. Okay. It so, doesn't make sense. If you, if you, put out, if you want to get paid, you send in your receipts. Yeah, that's right. right. So and then my it's, third question was, would this have to be approved by a municipal treasurer, who's the one that actually distributes the money? And this was an interesting response to that question. The changes, they would not, oh, the changes would not have to be approved. Ideally, you would check in with them about the change, but it should not make a difference. However, a concern municipal treasurers have is that an MGL, mask laws or whatever, yes, statute, oh. says municipal money can only be given as a reimbursement. Oh, however, so, oh. this, <laughs> however, this pot of money is Mass Cultural Council's once distributed by the state to us. So we can allow it to be distributed up front instead of reimbursement. So what she's saying is that once the state gave it to the cultural council, they it's no longer control. a municipal no, right. fund. It's, yeah. Right. It's yeah. it's but cultural yet it's in our municipal. Money. So I think the first step for us is to talk to the treasurer. Uh, you know, I mean, it just. Well, who who's responsible for this? Maybe the treasurer has. We don't want to talk to the treasurer about the rules engaged in this well, plan. We want maybe. to talk to the people who thought of this plan and who passed this plan. Right. Because the treasurer might right. just have if to, we, if, if we, if if this goes through, you just have to follow the rules. Is this a, 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 a Boston uh, house? They have to pass a law oh, that's going to no. okay this? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because she said that even though there's that law on the statute that says municipal money has yeah. to be on a reimbursement basis, um, she said that once municipal money is given to the Mass Cultural yeah. Council, it's local it's money. It's then it's local. Our money. Then it's, it's not it's municipal but money. But, but, where is but it in our treasurer, it's Who municipal money. Who disperses it in Boston? The it's state treasurer to the Cultural Council? Oh, and so, how, oh yeah. sure. So yeah. then yeah. the, the, the Who budget is deciding this. that this is a good idea? I don't know. Maybe it would be interesting just to ask if the tre our local treasurer sees a problem with this. Yeah, I mean, idea. then we could well, bring what, that back. Okay, okay. I'm going to ask a okay. question now. What happens if we don't follow all their rules? They don't. We don't get any money. We don't get any money. Fine. <laughs> we don't get any money. Done deal. <laughs> We're out of commission. <laughs> no, more, no more cultural council. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> come on. This is the it's, most. It's, who pays? To me, it's foolish. You put a deposit on something, but who pays for anything up front? front? Right. Especially if you might not get it for a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's I, like them giving us the money and we keep it in the cash box here. Yeah, you know what? Up, you know, and I think that there's going to be a lot more discussion throughout. I would this, hope, yeah, you know. So, but through. you're telling me all these they're the, doing it. They're Some they're towns are supplemental. I wonder if they if the state would have uh, a meeting. With I'm surprised some of the local have councils to talk about it, yeah. For some, like when they did when we change. went to online. This is a big change. This is not good. So this is something that needs to get addressed during the year at some point. I assume we're going to get more information from Mass Cultural Council, so we can just kind of let it lie for now. And yeah, but we don't. We don't want to let it lie until they voted it in. No. Should we? Our write little council already? should be speaking up against it. Well, I'm wondering if other councils are doing, having the same meeting we're having right now. Right. You know, we don't know if they're holding a meeting now or if they're waiting until we should talk to like Webster and Charlton. And yeah, maybe Oxford. that would be a good place to start. Do we know the Webster? We can oh, find out. It's on, they're online. On the oh, yes. Yeah. They're okay. online. Yeah, probably. Maybe we, we should have a little subgroup set up a meeting to talk about it. Or just, you know, just a phone call. Yeah. I, I don't mind giving somebody a phone call. Oh, that would be wonderful. I know. <laughs> All 
I'm not going to be happy if I don't like the answer. So. <laughs> well, when did say. you get that information? When did you post well, this? Yeah, we discussed it yeah. last. Well, this, the, well, this one here was in oh, July when she first asked us. Oh, you guys, you guys are all on it. I copied okay. everybody on it. Mm -hmm. um, but then I just pulled this off the website. Okay. So I it found, has moved forward. People are signed up for it. So I moved. I um, I moved this. <clears throat> Can you? I, I want a copy of this. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to give you all of this. Right. Well, see how we make out with touching base yeah. with Webster Charlton. So I should look up. Uh, do Webster Charlton, Oxford. Don't lose your head. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, I'll make a call. <laughs> when do Southbridge? And, and Jenny, Southbridge? why don't you call one of the people who are already in the pilot program? Yeah. Because okay. they've been in the program. They've gone through a year, I believe. Who has? Those so 20 that are Oh, the 20. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought this was the very first year. They did it last year? I think they yeah. did it. Yes, it was yeah. FY19. Oh, I didn't right. They had a pilot, and now they opened it up to everybody. So oh, that's even worse. I know. Must Must have been who else? Oh, Oxford. I don't see anything about You know, they want people to volunteer. Child these has its own they, they make it different. That's why yeah, we don't see like child. Cultural there's a paper in it's it's see, the Stonebridge so. Press now does everybody individualized yeah, 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 you know, yeah, papers. Yeah. But we usually see Oxford stuff done, don't we? Oh, you know what? What if you if you're talking that wouldn't that kill two birds with one stone? If she's talking to these people about this, <laughs> she could also <laughs> ask them about the publicity. publicity. If they pay for publicity. Yes, absolutely. So, Especially Jenny, you're going to talk Stonebridge to these people? Press. You know, they probably will welcome you. Well, you said you want to call too. Southbridge. Yeah. Why don't you? You want to call Southbridge? I'll call. Did I say that? No, I was just going to ask. <laughs> I was just <laughs> adding up to Webster, Charlton, and Oxford. That's oh, okay. all I did. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll you call talk to these them three about publicity and ask paying for publicity. And plus one of the pilot. And you want to report tomorrow? <laughs> this afternoon. This well, afternoon, Brinker. Oh, okay. Wait, any any time. Okay. Okay. So publicity, we already talked about. Yeah. Right. Yes, we so, did. I'm, 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 yes. Anything else that you? Um, yeah. No, it was just okay. about. I was like I say, I was yeah. just worried about what, how much was going to get out there right. for oh, grants, gosh. and nobody's mad at me, so I'm good. No, yeah. we're not yeah. right here. And then the brochure, you know, the brochure is The brochure is great. And the website, I finally got it. <laughs> okay, is there anything else before we talk about our next meeting? Okay, um, what I did see in Lisa Simmons's most recent is that the panel books would be available by November 1st. What What's panel a panel? <laughs> the panel book is the online book with all of the grant applications that oh. we have to review. And oh. where is it going to be available? November 1st? November 1st. Oh, that's, that's oh, earlier. Oh, okay. That's yeah. actually, last year we had them a little bit earlier than that. I oh, think. did you? Yeah. Okay. And they could be earlier, but that's the date that they set. So that. Well, we have to have them by the 15th. Oh, they have to be to the state by October yeah. 15th. So right. that gives them two but, weeks. So yeah, but we need to have them so by So we need, um, we need to schedule a meeting sometime beginning in November. I have the middle of November completely blank. The oh. second week, nothing. Not bad. That's your end day. Any time in November. That's okay. good. Yeah. Thursday at 9.30 work for everybody? The 6th. What's the date? What's the well, date? let's look at the 6th. The 6th doesn't work. Middle. You not said for the me. middle. <laughs> I know the middle is the 14th. Well, she didn't say the 6th. Oh, no, she said Thursday. How about 7th? What day is that too early? What day? Oh, November 7th. What day of the week is it? I'm sorry, Thursday. Thursday. No, because I said I have all that stuff. Okay. 14th? Yeah. November 14th, 9.30. 9.30? Yep. 
And that's going to be grid. And that's going to be discussing probably grants. a long meeting. Yeah. yeah, didn't we do two last year? We, we had one two oh, last we year. Did, yes, we did. <laughs> With more money, we'll can we can we we we'll 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 can't use admin funds. Bring it for lunch. I already <laughs> checked. <laughs> I'll, we'll I'll go down to the I, room. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, so November 14th, 9.30. Are they providing lunch? <laughs> That's what I just said. We'll bring a lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And then Denise yeah. said, I'm going to go back to the admin yeah. funds. Yeah. Look until at least 12. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, very specific in here that you can't use admin funds for food. Yeah. Unless you use it for like, if you have the other thing that they try to free have a, oh, is I, that you have a grantee reception, then you can use your admin funds for food. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah. We try to. Okay we're okay with worry that. about it. And say <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're okay with that. Okay. Judy, forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you can't get away with it that easy. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so show me how you know. Well, yep. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. so we got the next meeting. Okay. Um, do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I vote. I move that we adjourn. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No.